numerous years ago, there was a big push to start howling and learning to howl. And I do a little bit of howling right now, but it's only because I know what to do and how to do it and how I can get coyotes to come in because I've hunted them so long. The big thing about howling, uh, you can say things to a coyote that will shut them off. You can say things to a coyote via a howler that will bring them in. Typically in a response scenario with a howler, you're gonna get more of an aggressive coyote coming in. Some of them can be submissive, not saying they can't be, but typically you're gonna get a, a, an older male or an older female or a male that's looking for a mate. You're typically gonna get those, pe those coyotes coming in to check you out. Sometimes it's an aggressive stance. Uh, so there's all this out there reading magazines and uh, internet articles and all this about howling. But first, you need to understand hand calling. You've got to get back to learning about that animal, what makes him tick, what makes him want to come in. If you want to graduate into a howler and you want to say, I howled in a coyote, I'm just going to say, try this. I'm not it, 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 just listen to how I do it, and that's all you have to do, okay? There's a there's a reed here, and then there's what there's it's called like a pallet plate on top. Uh, you can see that it's it's got a dome there. So that dome is supposed to go up against the roof of your mouth, or it's supposed to channel that air in. So I'm gonna stick it in my mouth like this. The reeds on the bottom, and then the domes on the top, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go kind of like you're hissing like a snake as my pro staffer Matt Pepo says, you try to hiss like a snake. You gotta funnel that air through the top of your, uh, the through the palate of your, your mouth up on top, the roof of your mouth, and you tighten these muscles up in your neck. If you blow like that, you aren't gonna get nowhere. You got to funnel it by tightening up your muscles in your neck and try to like, I call it like you're hacking a loogie or something. <laughs> you're, you're tightening up these muscles, but then learn to flow that air up over the top of your tongue. And your tongue's going to set on the bottom just to hold the call in place, but you're going to push it to the roof of your mouth and just relax, relax. It, it, it's very simple, really. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna howl. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna let out a long, high-pitched howl. With this howler, it sounds a lot like a female. So basically, if if I'm in a new area and I'm howling for a coyote, I, I wanna make it sound like I howled in a coyote, what better thing to do than to sound like a female because it's high-pitched or it's a pup, so you're submissive. You're, you're, you're not going in there, hey, I'm, I'm here to see who's all out there. Instead, it's a high-pitched sound, so it represents a young coyote or a female coyote, and how many male coyotes are going to get ticked off at you? You know what I mean? A lot of them are going to want to come check you out. If it's a dominant male and he's already got a female, his female will get ticked off and she'll want to come in. So there's there's ways to, to do this. And all I'm going to do is just throw one howl out. And this is all you need to do. If you want to practice something, practice this. That's it. One howl. Okay? Stick it in. The reed's facing forward. The pallet plate is up on top. I'm just blowing air lightly through there. I'm not trying to funnel it yet. If you can make a sound, just relax. Learn to relax. Uh, too many people try to <sighs> blow with their cheeks out. Funnel that air through there like you're hissing like a snake or you're hacking a loogie. And I'm just going to howl. didn't take a lot of air. Just relax, let it flow, try to keep the pitch the same, and just let out one howl. That's all you've got to do. Okay, say I sat there, I howled like that. That's just one howl. Just sit there now for five minutes.
sat there for five minutes. Even if you're in brushy country, the trees, the timbers, the creeks, just how once. Okay, five minutes later. Howl again. Now sit there. Sit there, I'm gonna say three to five minutes more. You've woke the coyotes up, okay? If there's a coyote within earshot of you, he now knows there's a coyote over there because it sounds just like a coyote. You're not barking, you're not throwing other stuff at them, you're just a lone coyote that's saying, I'm over here, is anybody else out there? I'm lonely. Uh, if you want to come say hi, I would love it if you would come say hi to me, okay? That's all it is. That is it. Now, you can go into your distress calls. Wait three to five minutes after that last howl you just did. You even use your hand. The coyotes that are out there that heard that howl are now going to associate that howl with the coyote caught something to eat. So now they're like, okay, that coyote was just saying hi to me. It just caught something to eat. Hmm, maybe I want to go check that out because maybe there's a little bit left over and I can eat some and we'll become friends and maybe it'll be a new mate or something like that. Or it'll be... That coyote is in my territory and just killed something. Now I'm ticked off. But you don't ever go back to howling. You just do your distress calling, okay? This is for the people that want to learn how to howl. And you don't need to put a name with that howl, okay? It's just one very submissive, long drawn out, high pitched howl. That's all it is, okay? I didn't get to where I am today by howling. Howling is a lot slower. It, it, you know, if you want to slow your game down, howl them. Sit there a long time. They'll come check you out because all you're doing is howling from the same place. Pretty soon they're like, I'm going to go check that, that coyote out. So take it from me. Learn how to hand call. Use those hand calls. Then if you want to graduate up into another level, start learning a little bit about the howling. And it can make your game a little more fun. I love to say I've howled in a few coyotes. It is fun. And when that coyote's hunting you down, he's, he's coming in looking for another coyote. So take it from me. You can learn to do this. It's not that hard. I think by reading a lot of these articles, it, it can totally cluster up your brain and think that, oh, I can't do that. I can't try that. Learn to do it yourself so you can have a little more satisfaction inside of you knowing that you did this. You made the sound. Like I said, long drawn out howl. That's all it is, high pitch. And if you, once you learn how to use these, you can waver. You can start doing other things, kai -ai. You can do this. It's not that hard, but all that other stuff out there is white noise and it confuses you so you don't even want to try it, but it's very simple. Save this video, listen to it over and over again, learn how to do it. It's not that tough. But first, learn how to hand call, I'm telling you.